Hello, my loves. I hope that all is well with you. Please cleanse the energy. Be receptive to only whatever parts of the message is for you. Leave the rest for the collective. Okay, thank you, spirit guides, for the ability to have this platform. Thank you for all of the guys that are joining me. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I love and appreciate all of you. I pray that the Most High bless your finances, bless your mental, and all is well with your children or with your family, your spouse, your mate, whatever is connected to you. I pray that it is all grand and blessed. So motive be. Hey guys, let's tap in and see what is going on. What does the collective need to know for this day? Here, guys, what does the collective need to know? All right, break free. Try something different. Do things different. See if something different works for you. And then if it doesn't work, then you know you can go back to your usual routine. But try different things as an experience to learn and to grow. Okay, the next one is let yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care without guilt or apologies. Let's get one more. All right, ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's true desires. Ready, set, go. So it's like somebody is breaking free. They're allowing themselves to receive and they're taking off because they have tried something different, something unusual. Ready, set, go. Even though you might not feel entirely ready, this card says there's no better time than the present to dive into your future. You're advised to take both big and small steps to move into the direction of your dream. Push aside everything that is unrelated to your life mission. Adjust your schedule so that the bulk of your time relates to your priorities and your goals. Delegate tasks to other people or hire someone to assist you. Your responsibilities will still be met and you'll be happier. You'll enjoy greater self-esteem and you'll attract more abundance in the long run if you jump in and follow your heart. You are a giver and you help others in so many ways. Most of the time, you truly enjoy giving. So when you let others give to you, they experience the same joy that you experience by giving, by being able to give to others. By receiving, you replenish yourself and balance out the feminine and masculine energies within you and around you. By allowing yourself to receive, you swim with the flow of life, which washes away stagnant energy, bringing new form of abundance, creative ideas, and all sorts of opportunities. Even the simplest act of receiving is healing. It is a powerful step in a manifestation process. Okay, so allow others to give to you just as much as you're giving to others. If you don't usually do that, then you're needing to break free from that and to actually accept things from others. Yeah, bring fun into everything that you do. You guys could be juggling multiple tasks, priorities, and or jobs with this Two of Autumn here. That's the Two of Pentacles. You have an exceptional talent for multitasking. Yeah, see? And with the dreamer here, embrace your true purpose 
begin a new adventure, and trust yourself. So break free and go for whatever this new adventure is here that you guys are embarking upon. Twenty eighteen could be very significant. All right, what else here? Okay, strength here. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness. It's time to embrace how wonderful you are. The strength card also represents Leo. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Leo. The nine of cups here. So someone's wish is coming true. Your dreams are being fulfilled. This is a very magical time for you right now. Okay, let's get clarity on the strength here. The golden rule asks you to treat others as we would like to be treated. When you show kindness and respect to those around you, they are drawn to you as a pillar of strength. Have the courage of your convictions. Having the courage of your convictions will get you through the challenges, big or small. You are very sensitive and a caring soul. This is a strength, not a weakness. So if you're just so caring, and look, she has the infinity symbol on her forehead. So yeah, you can be, I'm getting like you can be as fierce as a lion, but also as gentle as a sheep. Do not be afraid to show your empathy to others. Also, while standing up for yourself, you should start to say no. So if something isn't for you, something isn't, look, 9-11 here, I didn't even pay attention to that. 9-1-1, 9-11, this is like an urgent message here. 9-1-1, come quick, Craig's in trouble. <laughs> okay. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others, overcoming challenges through grace and willpower, having patience with those that are around you, as well as believing in yourself. I'm hearing go to your book and see what 911 is, because I just recently wrote 911. So let's see. It will all make sense in the, in the meantime. Laugh at confusion. Smile even if you have tears in your eyes. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes we have to look at our our situations or like our relationships, the people that we are dealing with, our partnerships, we have to look at other people as if they're flowers. We have to cut them off, cut them out of our life in order for us to grow and or in order for them to grow. So take that however it resonates with you. Lead her on, then break her heart. Oh, okay. So this was where um, someone had a, a roommate. There was a girl and she had a roommate, right? So her roommate was like, oh yeah, I know that you like this guy. So she went up to the guy that she knows that the roommate likes. And she told the guy, you know, my roommate likes you. I don't really like her. So let's band together and let's do some shit, right? So what they band together and done was, she was trying to get the guy to date the, the roommate and then to fuck her over. Like to hurt her heart, lead her on, and then fuck her over. Pretty much. 
because she didn't like her. So just imagine living with a motherfucker that just has evil fucking intentions. Hmm. Anyways, that is for somebody. Just laugh at that shit. Yeah, Don't Kill My Vibe by Kendrick Lamar. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. I can feel your energy. Two planets away. Okay. So you could be, like, cutting people out. Like, bitch, you killing my vibe. You gotta go. <laughs> okay for those of you that have a business i would like to speak over your business your business will prosper you will help others as well as gain monetary as well as monetary gains and you will not only be provided for your needs, but your wants as well. All of your wants that is of your highest good. Some will it be. Bad times are coming to an end. Twenty. Someone here could be twenty, or something happened in two thousand twenty. Okay, reward yourself for all of your hard work. 99. Being happily and successfully self-employed. Cherishing your time alone. Literally, after I just prayed over your finances, this fell out. Do y'all see that? Just know spirit is going to make a way. What did I say? reward you will be able to have all of your needs and your wants you will be able to reward yourself that could be someone's wish and i feel like you're needing to gain the strength to to stay focused and to continue to go you're ready for this Okay, what else is going on here? Yeah, look, the Ace of Winter. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately. Someone has amazing new ideas that should be implemented into this business here. Okay, the princess of spring. It is time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizon. Let your creativity take flight. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly what I'm getting. And the two of spring, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partner with others who share the same dream as you and great progress will be made. I'm getting 9112122 or 20. 2022 is the year that is going to pop. Yeah, King of Summer at the bottom of the deck. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Get involved in a creative or culture endeavor.
So, you know, if you guys are wanting a partner, I feel like you're going to be getting that. A partner that you can trust. Not just any partner, but a partner that you can trust. Let me put some <clears throat> let me put some respect on that shit. Make, make sure I say the right thing. Okay. Yeah, new job, new partner, new business position. I'm telling you, it's coming. Somebody getting a promotion. If you guys have been saying 333, then that is the reason why, baby. So make sure that you guys are communicating properly. So that you can get the job done. All right, let's see what else. For my next trick, you will witness, they will witness you living a stress free, healthy, and abundant life. Living La Vida Loco. Inside out. Push, she push and pull you down. Living the vida loca. Okay. It's more to it. That's the only thing I can, I'm hearing right now. So let's see. Four twenty. She's just a superstition black cat and voodoo doll. Skin the color of mocha, lips the color of the color red of the devil. Once you get a taste of her, you'll never be the same. She'll make you go insane. Never let you get on your face. Never let you get on your face. Okay, this says the law of compensation. The universe will fill up the empty spaces. You must create space for it first, though. You help others, and then the universe will help you. You vibrate high, and you vibrate light. And then you allow the universe to help you constantly focus on your desired outcomes. 
like a bullet to your brain. You guys could be planning a trip to get out of the house, maybe a vacation here to live la vida loca. <laughs> Okay, someone is being held to a higher standard here. Yeah, 4D. So someone's in the fourth dimension. So you could be holding someone to a higher standard because you're in the fourth dimension. Okay, someone is a restaurant worker here. That is a leader. And that's trustworthy. That's in divine order. Okay, so let's see. The wrong person. Okay, so it's still landing on three. So I feel like you're being held, you're a high, you're being held to a higher standard than this. So if like you're a restaurant worker, Let me see what's going on with this because i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you guys what i'm already getting here is that you could be a restaurant worker but you're not supposed to be doing that you're supposed to be a leader Okay, so let's see. Let's get clarity on this wrong person here, please. I've been played before. So you were dealing with the wrong person and they played you. Okay, wrong person here. Maybe you guys are dealing with someone that works in a restaurant. Oh, well, the monitoring spirit is being sent the fuck back to whoever this is, okay? I, I don't know, but no. Okay, let's get clarity on this restaurant worker. Yeah, so if someone sent a monitoring spirit to you, they sent it to the wrong fucking person. You're vibrant, vibrating in the fourth dimension. Okay, clarity on this restaurant worker here. Restaurant worker. restaurant worker dated each other but never anything serious karmic lesson to be learned 
So yeah, you were either you were this restaurant worker and you were dealing with the wrong person. Or this is someone that you're dealing with and that's the wrong person. We're going to see. Restaurant worker. Yeah, you dated each other, but, but it wasn't anything serious. That is the wrong person. You've already been through that karmic lesson before. So if someone's not wanting something serious, then you already know for sure. Like, all right, you here with the gangs. You on the bullshit. Okay. And I feel like now you guys could be in a four in the fourth dimension. And so you're you're expecting more. Okay, let's see. Yeah, look. This a leader that's trustworthy. Your spirit gods and your angels are grateful for the connection that they have with you. Yeah, look what I told you. This person already has a serious commitment with someone else. Don't believe them. Yeah. Okay, with this restaurant worker, not everyone are created to be owners. Some people are better working with others, and that is absolutely okay. Just like, you know, not everyone's meant to go to school. Like, we have so many different paths that we can take. And that is the goodness of it. You know, some people have that boss mentality where they can be this leader. Someone could have given a job um, promotion to the wrong person. Okay, so Ooh. Somebody's side piece is out of pocket. You can't compare with the wife or with the main chick, so cut it out. Yeah. Somebody definitely was already in some some shit here, okay? <laughs> Let's see, honey. Being held to a higher standard. Being held to a higher standard. Because you're the greatest of all kinds and of all times here. Okay? So that's why you're being held to a higher standard. than being stuck somewhere where you do not belong where there's a lack of growth you're being held to a higher standard or you're holding someone else to a higher standard here <laughs> oh my jeez let's see baby okay yeah look your siblings Something that you're communicating about. Local community, transportation, your habits, your interests, the way that you think. All of those are representing your third house. So yeah, someone's holding motherfuckers to a higher standard. Yeah, what motivates you is beyond physical. The drive that you have is within. That's something that another motherfucker cannot duplicate, replicate any goddamn case, okay?
Okay, so that's we need to know here, here. Freedom of forgiveness is to express the feelings that no longer expressing. That does not say expressing. Oh my God. Yo, what the fuck is... Okay. Freedom of forgiveness. Experience the feeling that no longer thinking on the hurt, the embarrassment, the lies, and you're able to feel lighter in your energy. That is the drive within you. Okay? Someone recently lost someone or they will lose someone very soon. Because of some shit that they have done here. Somebody was trying to do some spell work. And they about to be miserable as fuck. Okay. Or they already are fucking miserable. Someone's needing to do some work here. They're needing to figure out what happened to them. Why are they so fucking miserable? Yeah. Heal from childhood pain. So yeah. Forgive others and take back your power. Look, I'm telling y'all, the time is running out for somebody that done this fucking spell work here. Time has officially ran the fuck out. A side piece or a side dude. They only do side dude shit. So this could be somebody's side piece that's getting ready to pass. May spirit shut the mouths of the enemies that are speaking against you. In this apartment complex. If spirit is with you, then who the fuck could be against you? Okay. Okay. Do what's right when dealing with other people. Be kind and live humble. Love all, even if they're good and even if they're bad. Micah 6 and 8 is the chapter, the scripture. I told you somebody going on a vacation here. Y'all, why I seen an orange ladybug in my house yesterday? I flipped up up and top, okay? I was like, I'm, look, ocean breeze. Yeah, somebody is going on vacation here. Look at that. Okay, a great ladybug, wisdom, reliability, and simplicity. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday is tomorrow. Oh, so what's happening on Tuesday? The club going up on a Tuesday. Got your girl in the club and she choosing. Ooh. I told y'all somebody was trying to do some fucking spells. Female M through R. Mm. Let me see. Somebody was either doing a death or a sickness spell here. Let's see what's going on. A sickness spell. And on tomorrow, do your motherfucking protection spells. To transmute that shit into prosperity. Inside job. Toxic marriage. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm, okay. So, let's see. Hmm.
Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. What's going on with this death spell, sickness spell? Everything is temporary. Emotions, thoughts, peoples, and scenarios do not become attached. Just flow with it. What's going on? Sickness spells. What's going on with this sickness spell? Someone with a Samsung product. Sickness spell. Exposure. Try to block your money and have you sick, but they're going to take a loss before you fucking do. Yeah, because happiness doesn't start with a relationship. A degree, a job, or money. It starts within yourself, within your own thoughts, and what you tell yourself every day. Okay? Hmm. Okay. I think it's the game. That is the truth. So, whoever this female in through art is, done some sort of spell. Look, what I told you, Ken folks, like-minded people, son or daughter, so they could have been trying to do some shit to your children. And look, this says your siblings. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What's going on with this son or daughter here? Hold on. Let's see which one it is. Son or daughter. One through three is son. Four, five, six is daughter. So someone's daughter. This could be someone that you're friends with or you're related to. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. Grateful for your presence. So somebody tried to do some shit to your baby here? Mm. You continue to count your blessings and be absolutely grateful for your daughter. Okay. Not everyone has access to you or to either of your children's son or daughter. Let me see. Let me see what's, what's going on with this M through R here. Clarity on M through R, please. Clarity on M through R, please. Female M through R. Female M through R. Yeah, look, she was trying to manifest that shit. But she gonna take a loss before you do because you're turning your test into testimonies, your trials into triumph, and the victim into victory. What the fuck wrong with these folks? Yeah, look, uncovering the crime. You're uncovering who that's sending you these low vibrating gas energies here. What I told you, the person that's doing the binding and negative spells to take away the free will of others are about to fail. They're about to feel the fucking pain. They're about to feel the fucking raft here. It clearly, I'm clarifying M through R. This is the person that's doing the fucking spells. They're trying to manifest some shit, but now they're getting busted. 
This could be an ex. If you guys are females and you're dealing with another female, this could have been your ex here. Or this is maybe someone that you were dealing with and their ex. Masculine A through F. A spiritual union. Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. A mutable sign here. Let's see. Let's get clarity on this masculine name. Three. So C. A. Let's get one more. D. So this masculine could have the initial C A D C could be first name, you know, whatever. C A and D are the the letters that I have for this masculine that someone is in a spiritual union with. Okay, let's get clarity on the mutable signs here. Clarity on mutable signs, please. Soulmate prayer. So someone's trying to stop you from getting with your soulmate. Dear Archangel Cameo, I am asking you for help from above to unite me with my soulmate, twin heart, full of love. Please guide me now and show me the right pathway true and clear to the gift of love and happiness and by bringing my soulmate near so someone that's a mutable sign could be asking for their soulmate to come near okay yeah i see shaman here and then i have a cyrus star seed so yeah there's definitely a very spiritual union here Okay, let's get clarity on Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces here. Let's get clarity on Gemini first. Clarity on Gemini, please. Gemini. Saying that you can't keep a woman or a man, but who the fuck wants to settle seeing what's offered and don't want it? Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius here. Somebody's glow up is about to be personal. Identify people by their actions and you will never be fooled by their words or their titles in your life. Okay? Get a, mind, get a man that doesn't mind setting the tone according to the situation. I don't fuck with you. I'm taken. You know, bitch, bye. That type of thing. That type of energy. That's the type of energy you want. Okay? Archangel Ariel. Ariel, please be with me now to help me to feel and connect with the healing and lover power of nature. May this energy restore me and bring me to a state of balance. Show me ways that I may better, that I may be a better guardian of earth. Okay, Virgo. Queens, you're needing to rise. You have other people depending on you. Virgos. What else for my Virgos? Since all the other ones came out more than one. Virgo. Yeah, look, watch your family. 
So you can have family, relatives that are saying that you can't keep a person, but it's like you really don't want to settle for the bullshit anyways. The fuck wrong with them? Yeah, a karmic female is big mad that your person loves you. Okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> Pisces. Let's get clarity on Pisces, please. Stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. Masculine A through F. So whoever this masculine is that somebody is dealing with A through F here, stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. Good and bad, but bad for you. Good girls are no good. I mean, bad girls are no good. Good girls are no fun. Keep your intentions pure and your spirit at peace. I love your soul. Stand up regardless if they accept it or if they reject it. If you have a good man, be sure to appreciate him. Pisces, you guys are going to be healthy, natural, self-sufficient, spiritually connected, and independently educated. And that is a big rebellion against the system that wants you to be weak. Yeah, because your self-respect has to be louder than your feelings. All right, now let's see what is going on for my collective here. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Someone is feeling trapped, so they're not making the romantic gesture. There's a court situation going on here for someone. Yeah, something has been like a lot of work. Look, pay attention to the red flags about these people that are around you, that are relatives, your family, friends. Yeah. We have family room. Main male. So trying to steal the main male out of your room. Trying to cause toil and labor. Look, they go 211 again. But your official person is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay? And then pathway. So it's like something is a part of your plan, anyways, a part of your destiny to have good fortune. September 26 could be very significant as well. Yeah, the distant horizon, there's a mature man coming. Wealthy man. And I had an affirmation fallout, so we're going to do this. Today I'm calm. Today my mind is clear, and I am at peace with who I am. And knowing that not another motherfucking soul that's walking the face of this earth can compete to you. The things that you do, who you are, all together. Nobody else can beat you. That is the greatest thing of being yourself. 
Queen of Wands, a toxic motherfucker. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. It's toxic as fuck. Someone's not closing out a cycle here. What else? Someone's discovering this about this Sagittarius or someone's discovering why something is imbalanced here. Yeah, why they're not taking action, why she is imbalanced. Okay, what else do you have for the collective? Someone's getting new ideas and you're needing to implement your new ideas here. Yes, on how to transfer this bondage here, whatever this toxic bondage is, or there's a Capricorn that is getting new ideas, but I feel like this is someone getting new ideas on how to transfer the, the toxic, the bondage into something something more tangible um let's see yeah somebody's envious of this masculine here and this is someone in your fucking family this fell right on top of this. Let's get clarity on, so first off, let's put it back how it fell out. Um, Okay, clarity on new ideas. A cancer has new ideas. Or you guys could have gotten a new idea in cancer season. Okay? Clarity on the devil, this Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. What is going on? Yeah, leaving love. So, yeah... That's what I was saying. Like somebody's like getting a a new idea. Like, okay, this isn't working out. So now I got to, you know, go back to the drawing board is what I'm getting. Leaving love. Leaving the toxic bondage. Transferring a love offer, a love connection. So I feel like going to where they are loved. And appreciate it. All right, clarity on this nine of pentacles, please. And so I just seen the king of cups. So that could be transferring into someone who is emotionally equipped to, you know, communicate with others. Okay, Empress birthing, something that she has been like putting a lot of hard work and dedication into. Or this could be a, a child. Then we have judgment stable together.
like, nah, I think I'm gonna take my cup from there to here because that ain't working. Somebody mother has a hidden agenda, but it's not going to work out. Clarity on judgment, please. Somebody taking control or judgment is on a cancer here. Look, what I told you, leaving love to go and give this offer to someone fucking else, to the empress. Someone could have felt like they missed the opportunity to come and give someone a love offer. Yeah, Sagittarius, fearful of taking action here. What the fuck going on with the Sagittarius? Temptation, diversionary tactics, a friend, misfortune, Virgo, that someone's discovering. So someone's discovering as they're either one soul searching or there's a Virgo that is realizing some misfortune, dealing with a friend that is causing temptation, illusions, Diversionary tactics. And what did I tell y'all when I read 911? I said how there was somebody that was plotting to get someone that you like to try to fuck with you just so they could, you know, try to get in good. Oh, yeah, I got my crush. Oh, yeah, I got exactly what I wanted. And then you get fucked over and then you're hurt. And then motherfuckers are sitting back like, Ooh, yeah, just what I like. Just what I wanted. Whole time they motherfucking life miserable as fuck. That's why they want some shit like that to happen. That is unwise of them. Okay. Okay, we got Pisces. Someone could be envious of a Pisces here or a mother of a Pisces. Oh, bad news for a mother. What is this bad news for a mother? Be careful with motherfuckers just trying to come in and it's page energy. Oh, I love you. Oh, I mean, this night energy. They coming in, this night and shining armor, but they really full of shit. Be very cautious with that, okay? Yeah, competition. The will of fortune. So, yeah, somebody, this is the will of fortune in reverse. So, somebody is definitely doing some shit, trying to cause competition, battle, strife, envy, all that shit. Could be about some dick. This could be about some new beginnings here. But I feel like someone's having spiritual growth anyways. Someone's fearful of taking action. Sagittarius, fearful of taking action. They have untidy thoughts and they're needing to stand the fuck up. There's some secrets about who somebody was fucking around with. That's why it's competition. Yeah, look, the Empress. And I'm sitting here looking at mother. Dead ass somebody's mother here. Clarity on the mother. What's going on with this mother energy? Swift changes. Depressed because an imbalance in someone's love life, in your marriage, in your home life here. But you're not taking any loss because you're working with your spirit guides.
Look, transformation, good news, a reunion. This is a part of someone's destiny. These motherfuckers got to show respect. But now they're worried because they are the lies are being exposed. Motherfuckers having health problems. Hmm. Yeah, look, they're trying instead of... It's like these motherfuckers want you to have a hard-ass time to be happy. I just said this shit in my last reading. Like, motherfuckers, it's really salty that you happy. You could have moved away from someone that had health issues because they were attracted to someone who had health issues. They were running around, they were impatient, and they were attracted to just about anyone, and that was the part of the secrets. Yeah, somebody walked away from that shit, the Queen of Pentacles. That was carrying this burden is now releasing it. What? So where Malachi at? You just walked straight past them to come in here and ask me to open it while I'm in the middle of recording? Okay. Yeah, go within. Type in. You'll see what's going on. Even though you feel like it's a hard-ass fight here, this is a lot. You're carrying a lot. Somebody still has the persistence to continue on. The nine and ten of one. And an affair. Okay? Stand the fuck up to this shit. Like, what's going on with this affair here? An affair. Scorpio Pisces Cancer is longing for someone to be stuck, to not give an offer so that they can stay in this affair. Look, jealousy. They're making the moves. Because they are jealous as fuck. Listen, baby, these people are toxic as a flying fucking sorcerer. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these and then I'm going to end this reading here. Please, only a... Oh, hell, I need to see this. A Leo here. Someone could be a Leo. Told y'all the strength card came out in the sun, so definitely a Leo. I will not allow anyone to kill me. Point blank, period. Because you got to talk to the, the universe about that. Okay? Educate yourself. Learn all that you can about whatever it is that you're working on. Whatever it is that you guys are doing. Yeah. Angelic guidance. Popcorn. You guys could be eating popcorn. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your space. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse every any and everything that is connected to you. I was also getting the energy of like going outside. Even if you guys can't plan a trip somewhere. You know, maybe go outside. Ground yourself. Yeah, the demons keep your enemies up at night. Relocating. So someone is relocating here. I can be the light that shine through it all. Yes, yes, yes. Standing the fuck up and shining your light, baby. Okay, 30 days. Someone may need to cleanse for 30 days, like fast for 30 days. Um, someone could be relocating in 30 days. We have 1911 through 1919. That could be very significant. You guys could be seeing that as a time duration um business partner okay so yeah i feel like definitely some business here someone could be getting a job getting a promotion especially if you guys work at a restaurant now something in that nature here um someone could have relocated to deal to be with their business partner <clears throat> let me see what all i got Okay, so
independent women aren't made for insecure men because they need they don't need you they want you I feel like also as this business partner, if you guys are the business partner here, I feel like you guys are the ones that are shining the light through whatever. So you're able to help people prosper, help their business. If you guys are like working with someone here. Yeah, 211 reloaded. Let's get it. So it's like someone's reloaded. Their energy is reloaded. Let's get it. They're ready for it. They're ready for what's next. This could also be like someone's phone number, someone's address, someone's license plate. Take it however. Look, I also told y'all I seen 911 and there it is. Okay, so I'm hearing look up what 1919 means. Something, uh, listen, 1919. It is a sign that you are connected to the holy. Listen, baby, it is thought that it is through the disconnection. You will be able to fulfill your deepest aspirations. Your guardian angels are letting you know that your good deeds and abundant energy go hand in hand. I feel like I did. Everyone who expected you to fail are about to be disappointed. Pisces is on one. They're putting their foot down, crack that code, and nothing is stopping them. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. I think that's all, guys. I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for joining me. May this message be a blessing to you all, and peace.